Ultis from Ionia Shadow Blade Fanatic. Once you equip an ally this game, create a Shadow Fiend in hand. Okay, that one kinda sucks. Mistfall. I mean, yeah, it sucks. Mistfall landmark. When I'm summon draw an equipment. When I'm summon draw an equipment, the first time each round unequipped. Unequipped ally is equipped. Refuel one mana and grant them plus one plus one. Isn't it horrible? Unless you can like... No, but, but this says only first time each round. I guess it's good for being a tutor though. Like, I, <laughs> I mean not like super good. Like it's okay as being as a tutor. <laughs> like if there is some broken weapon that you really need for like some kind of combo. And like you rather play one of that weapon because it's only for the combo. And like you rather play this instead. Like two of this and one combo piece, I don't know. I mean, it's playable. It just depends on like other stuff. And it's Ionia, I don't know. I don't like it, honestly. I mean, not, not that I don't like it. I just don't think it will be strong. And Noxian Defector? Four mana quick attack cultist. Two four, grow my power to that of the strongest equipped ally this round. Uh, it's kinda shitty. It was an overwhelm. Yeah, quick attack doesn't really do it. Like, like th this requires you to play a 4 mana unit and then <clears throat> I have another big thing. So it's like a turn 6, 7 play, probably. And like at that point, it just gets chump blocked. I don't know, dude. Gatalyst, V10. <laughs> Your spells and skills deal one extra damage. That one is... Okay. So it's basically this. I loved playing with this card and it was not even horrible to be honest. Like for Bilgewater deck it was not even horrible. I kinda like this one. Just not sure if it will be like good now but like... Loaded Vessel. Deal to two a unit, draw one. At the next round, start. Oh, they mean for each damage dealt this way, right? They they, they forgot the text. Five mana, though. Wait, I, I I read it as a free mana, but it says five mana. Okay, if it was four, because at three I was like wondering, this is kind of broken. But then I read it's five mana, not three. I mean, with stuff like kegs and gatalis, like say this is. Like, let's say you have Gatalys and one keg, it's suddenly it's five mana deal four, which is not like horrible, right? I mean, obviously you played Gatalys, but like, that's the part of the comp. And then you get uh, draw four, basically. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> like, it's definitely in the meme zone, it's not like a competitive card, at least for now. Like, maybe, like, if we get enough cards like that, maybe like Ruined Rex will be good, right? But like, them being flitting is such a big uh, downside. Like, it costs so much mana. Wait, is, is it fast? <clears throat> yeah, it's fast. I mean, not fast speed, it's not that bad, honestly. It's not, like, <laughs> good, though. <laughs> I can see it being played, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it will be probably, like, a TRC dex. <clears throat> but it's card that could be broken, honestly. Like... If you have a TF deck, like PNZ TF deck with Gatalys and stuff like that, I don't know. It's kind of cool. I, I like this card. Hex Obliterator. PNZ fast deal 5 to end. If I kill it, obliterate it. Like, you don't main deck this card. But it looks really good for creation. Like, it looks a really good card when you get it from, like, Pharos. Or the the, the 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 thing that restores your mana. Pharos and the fuck I am so bad with the names. Flash of brilliance. Like you never played in your deck. Like wh wh what does it do? Like what does it outside of like Viego? What else does it like counter? Like the margin is like really low. Anivia, okay, Anivia true. Does it count? Hey, wait, it counters attach and weapons, no? 
if it works the same way as a uh... yeah so it counters like weapons and attach so th that's kind of cool like th they made it so like there's counterplay to weapons and shit it's kind of cool i like that card but you'd never make it anyway the Masia one mana slow silence and suppress destroy a unit's equipment and it's and if it's a follower, silence it. But this is this is like another one of like the, the super sideboard cards, right? For one mana is super broken. What what if you run into like control deck? Then what that is what does this card do in your Demacia deck? Like at worst it's Equinox, right? A better Equinox? Okay, but Equinox is not a playable card. Like the, the upside of Equinox is that you invoke it. And like, when you don't need Equinox, you don't take it. Like, this is always Equinox. No matter what you do, this is always Equinox. Jacked Kutas. Plunder I cost two less. It's plus one, plus two, plus one. I mean, that sucks, no? Like, unless you really need equipments for some reason. Like, Plunder on equipment seems really bad. Like, it gives way too less. Like, if it said... Plus two, plus one, and like while attacking ideal one, like basically like Corsair thingy, you know? Then like this would be maybe playable for like plunder decks, maybe? Right? If it like pinks the face, but like without it? Or, or I, I mean one, one, like let's say one, one pink face, right? While attacking. Then I would like this card a lot. Other than that, this card sucks. I don't know, they kind of missed the... I, I feel like they could have done it. Like just give one, one an ideal one to face while attacking. Then this card will be playable for the planaries. Because otherwise, like, what do you put it on? That's a missed opportunity, I feel like. Buried Armory, Landmark, one mana in Shurima. Countdown 2, create a treasure of the sands in hand. Okay, so let me think. So, you can play this on one, play one drop on three, and equip it on that one drop, right? So that's one thing, and the other thing you can play it on turn three, on turn four, on a free drop. Is there like a free drop that wants plus four, plus four on four? Z, Fiora, Z and Fiora, pretty much. I mean, Shurima Z, like if you high roll, like you lose to like Ionia decks. Like, I don't see a use for this one. It looks cool, though, right? I mean, does it look cool, though? Like, obviously, you can put it on the Renekton, but you can do it only on 5. Wait, did I say something wrong? We can do it on 4? Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 no, 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 I like... Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, you are right. You can play it on 4. Okay, then it's better for... Okay, I'm sorry. Because for a second, I thought... Uh, like, like, I just counted this as a 4 mana, but it's... Like, this one is just... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sorry. So like for Renekton, okay, let me rephrase So for Renekton, you have to save the free mana. So besides this, you can use only one thing. So you can play this on one, skip round two, on three play um, the Rock Hopper, put, so put something on the Rolling Suns, something to do with Rolling Suns, on four play this, have Renekton, it's an 8-8 eight, eight and pushes for 10. That's like the wet dream on Browning can be funny. True. Like, I feel like this will be frustrating to play against. Like, it's playable for sure. Like, you can do stuff with it. And the fact that you can play it on, like... Look. Like, Peace, Timo, Zoe, on 3. Like have a 5-5 five, five elusive attacking on 3. But it can be also a 2-drop, right? Wait, you can put it on a 2-drop on 3 too. Wait. Because I made a mistake before. Is there like any broken 2-drop with this? I mean, you can play Zoe Diana. And like if you have the landmark on 1 and you put it on any of the champions on 3, it's kind of broken, no? Ari, hello? So like on 3, it's a 6-6 six, six attacking. And on 5, it will attack twice, basically, right? It takes so much mana, though. 
But you can block with it easily. And like it's not it's not even bad outside of Hyrule for that deck. Like you can just smack it on like any elusive when you are like you have nothing to do with mana. Like it's a kind of a mana sink. Oh Ionia, give an ally plus one plus O oh, or zero one. This round, if you have equipped an ally this game, play a copy of me on the same game. Oh, okay, now I see. So, like, what's the point of this card? So, maybe they, they they are, like... Maybe they won't listen to be played, I don't know. Like, for listening, like, it's good, right? Like, one mana, two spells, plus two plus all for listening. Like, it's kinda good. Like, I don't know, I kinda like this. Nowadays, listening has a problem also of like not having enough like spell things like this proking twice is kind of nice it just depends whether like there's a lot of equipment for the leasing deck though because we haven't seen any yet right i mean you could play maybe like leasing noxus the old way like just fucking play great hammers leasing Yeah, maybe that's the thing. <clears throat> like, yeah, like if you play like Great Hammers, listen, this is kinda good. I feel like Great Hammers is a broken card. It's probably the <clears throat> strongest card they have shown us. Like giving, like, I don't know. Th this seems really broken. You can put it on so many things. Like imagine you just slam Sivir. On four, and you just put the great hammers on it. Like, what? Like, what can you do about it? Like, it's so hard to deal with. Like, yeah. <clears throat> In the future, it will be probably like plus one, plus zero. Oh. Like, I I call a nerf on this card. From all the cards we've seen this part, like this uh, thingy, I think this one is literally the strongest one, and will be nerfed in the future. Not even uh, Hitless Resurrection. I think, like, I thought about it a little bit more, <clears throat> and I think this is a little bit overrated. It seems really broken at first sight, but this card is really dependent on, like, what meta will be. Because if there's, like, if, if the meta is fast, like, this is unplayable. Like you, like, you can't play this card if the meta is really fast. Like, if meta is super slow and everyone plays a bunch of removal, then yeah, sure. You can slam it in your Viegos, you can slam it in your Kaiser decks and all the other bullshit, but like... <clears throat> it might be a little bit overrated overall. But the, the the Great Hammers is like universally good. Like it's a proactive card that is really good, cheap, and wins you a game.